So in this video, we'll be showing you how to change the engine oil and the oil filter on a 2013 Nissan Pathfinder. What we'll be doing is we'll be starting by jacking up the car because what we're going to need to do is remove the passenger side front tire in order to get to the oil filter. Some of the tools you're going to need, uh, we have a wrench, we have the, um, the bucket for the oil, we have your new oil. Also, you're going to need your impact wrench. Um, your little bit to remove the tire and of course your oil filter. I just want to show you how to get to the oil at the bottom of the car when you'll be draining it. Uh, it's just through the front and it's just that little black um, container over there with a little nut that you're gonna have to eventually unscrew. So we have our pan just under the area where the oil is gonna drain out. And I'm just going to take the wrench and I'm just going to loosen the screw and then just undo it by hand afterwards. So now we got the oil draining to the pan. I have the screw right over there. And while we're letting that drain, I'm going to go over to the passenger side, um, the front tire, and we're going to remove that so we can get to the oil filter and remove that as well. Okay, and once you remove the passenger side tire, then you'll see a little panel to the right there that you're going to have to remove as well to gain access to the oil filter. So this kind of just snaps off. And then you'll have your access at the bottom, your your oil filter at the bottom of the screen. So now you just want to loosen the oil filter. And you're going to have some oil that's going to come out as well. So you just want to put your, your pan under that as well, just to catch some of the, the oil that falls out. And once you're done with that, you can just replace it with your new oil, your new oil filter and then just close up the panel uh, same way as you did when you opened it. So you just want to put the panel back and then you just want to insert the little um, plastic, um, plastic things that kind of just snap on afterwards. And then we can put the tire back. So that, that would be it for the oil filter. And then we'll continue on with the oil. So you want to go back underneath the car and we're going to put the little screw back in. And then we'll tighten that back up with the wrench. And then we want to head over to the hood of the car and we want to replace the oil that we drained with the new oil. And it's as simple as that in terms of changing the oil filter. What you also want to do is you don't want to put too much oil. You don't want um, 
too little oil. So, you know, after putting some of the oil in, you just want to check to make sure that uh, you have the right amount of oil in the car. And in order to check that, what you want to do is uh, just pull on that yellow thing. That kind of gives you a gauge on how much oil you have. So you're going to pull that out and over there you can see an L and you can see an H and you want your oil in between the low and the high. And that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave some comments down below and uh, thanks for watching.